Hello, my name is Matt Brown. I'm an old-time musician in Denver, Colorado, where I teach fiddle, banjo, and guitar lessons to students here, but also online to students all around the world. If you're interested in lessons, I will put a contact link in the description. Feel free to reach out. I'd love to hear from you. I'll also put in the description a link to sheet music for this tune and instructions for how to slow down the video and where to find each portion of the tune that I'm going to teach. First, I'll play you the first phrase of the A part, rather slow. One, two, three. Let's break that down. You're going to begin on the E string. And if you can, follow my bowing. A down bow slur, E, F sharp, G. Ready, go. One more time. Ready, go. And because we're in G major, your second figure is going to be low on the E string and also the A string. Let's add a couple more notes. Listen. So I added open E and D. Ready, go. Whenever you need to, pause the video and circle back and review any of these portions of the tune. I'll keep moving though. Here's a few more notes added on. So that D became the beginning of a slur from D back to the E string, G and open E. Maybe try just that. D, G, E. In context, it would be one, two, three. Ready, go. All right, I'm going to move on. So that was an up bow. D, B, and then low two, C natural. Maybe try that one more time with me. Ready, go. And then we're going to walk down from D down to a G. Walk most of the way down a G scale. And there is a slur in there. It's going to be down, slur, up, down, up. So the new notes, the rest of the phrase, up bow from D, Kind of a weird place to start. Here's what it sounds like in the phrase. One, two, three. Let's try that one more time. One, two, three. And pause the video, practice that phrase until it feels really comfortable, and then move on to the rest. Let me play you phrase two of the A part. It starts on an F sharp. One, two, three. It's all consolidated onto the E string, so you won't be leaving the E string in this phrase. 
Let's break it down into a couple smaller pieces. First, you're gonna start F sharp, which is first finger on the E string, and go to G right after. And then A, G. So F sharp, G, A, G. Ready, go. Let me add to that a little bit. We'll walk down to the E. Ready, go. One more time, ready, go. And now we'll walk up from that E. So E, F, G. And then G to A and A to B. So, from the beginning of the second phrase, another G, those last couple notes are B-A-G, they spell bag. This may be the most confusing phrase in the tune, so take your time with it. I'll do it again from the beginning of the second phrase. One, two, three. So that's F, G, A, G, F, and then open E. So. One more time with me. Ready, go. When you feel good about the second phrase, I want you to try playing the first phrase into the second phrase. And don't move on to the third phrase until you can do phrase one right into phrase two. Here's one into two. I'll count it in. One, two, three. Let's try that two more times. Phrases one and two. One, two, go. Again, one, two, go. And remember, for those of you who read music, I will include a link to the sheet music for this with the Boeing in the description below. When you're ready and can play the first two phrases comfortably, go on to the third phrase. It starts like the first phrase on E. Has that nice double stop at the end. Let's break it into a couple smaller pieces. So first, That's like the beginning, E, F, G, and then E, and then slur, D, G, E. You don't have to hit the open D though. One more time, ready, go. And then you're gonna play D, B on an up bow slur. So. We finish by slurring from B to C and then playing an extra bow stroke on C with a little pulse of the bow. 
speed up the bow, push into it a little bit. But while you're doing that, you can also drone the open E for the double stop sound. It's a hard inter interval to get in tune. So. That's the third phrase. Ready, go. So the challenge is, can you play phrase one, two, and then three, all in a row? Let's try it together. One, two, three. And I would suggest prioritizing the note sequence. And then once you're getting the notes in the order that I'm playing them, then try and follow my bow. Let's do that again. Phrases one, two, and three. One, two, go. Once you can do that comfortably, you're ready for the fourth and final phrase of the A part. Here's the fourth phrase of the A part. First, you're going to walk down the A string. D, C, B, all natural. With an open A at the end. So slur for three. And then we're going to include a G note. Try that. Ready, go. Ready, go. Now we're going to add B, A to the end of that. And if you can, make it a down bow slur from G, B, A. Ready, go. Nice. Ready, go. And then we're almost finished. We add to that G, F, G. It's F sharp. So G, F sharp, G on an up bow. And then stay on G. We're going to play some double stops with it. So G plus open A, and then G plus B on the A string. With a little pulse of the bow. So the last couple notes, G, F sharp, G, and then the double stops. Try that. Ready, go. So the whole fourth phrase sounds like this. Try it a couple times. Ready, go. Two more. Ready, go. time. Ready, go. Pause the video and work that phrase as long as you need to, 
And then when you're ready, we're going to try putting the entire A part together. One, two, three. Let's do that one more time. So two A parts in a row. One, two, go. that A part as many times as you need to in order to feel really good about it before going on to the B part. Here is the first phrase of Roscoe's B part. One, two, three. This whole B part is played on the A and the D, D strings. So the middle two strings of your violin or mandolin, if you're playing on a mandolin. So let's break down that first phrase. Those first couple notes, A, B, A, G. Ready, go. One more time. Ready, go. Now we'll add a couple more. Listen. So you'll see a slur in there too. The notes I added are B and A. So we have A, B, A, G, B, A. Ready, go. And I'm going to add a G at the end of that. But there's more to the story because halfway through that G, I'm going to make a double stop with G and B. Notice that my bow keeps going in the same direction to keep it smooth. Ready? Go! Ready? Go! And the last thing we need for the first phrase is to stay in this double stop position and slur from it to a slightly different double stop combination. So we have G and B. We're going to play that on the up bow. And then we're going to start a new down bow, still G and B, but we're going to change the B to a C by putting down our middle finger on the A string. And there's a pulse in the up bow. So you can probably hear that change from B to C. The G stays down the whole time. So here is the entire first phrase of the B part of Roscoe. One, two, three. 
Ready, go. Feel free to pause the video, slow down the video, whatever it takes. Ready, go. Once you can play that confidently on your own, you're ready for the second phrase. Here's the second phrase of Roscoe's B part. We're going to start third finger on the A string. On the note D, I'll play it through. A lot of double stops. So if I break it down, first we're going to go... We've done this before, walking down a G scale from D. D, C, B, A, G. All natural notes. And the bowing down, up, down. Try it. Ready, go. Now let me add to that. So we have a figure eight kind of thing that we're doing. with a double stop at the end, G plus B. Try it. Ready, go. Ready, go. One more time. Ready, go. Now the rest of the phrase, I'll teach to you the single note melody and then I'll show you how to put the double stop in. So the melody is on the D string starting with E, first finger, and we go to F sharp. Just back and forth, E, F, E, F, E. All the Fs are sharp. But I want you to try that eventually when you're ready with the open A string drone the whole time. Hear that sound? Ready, go. Pause the video, try that on your own, and then when you're ready, play the second phrase with me. Ready, go. Stop at any time and clean the cat hair out of your fingers. We're going to play phrases one and two from the B part. Here we go. One, two, go. Try that two more times. One, two, go. One more time. One, two, go. Pause the video and try that as many times as you need to before going on to the third phrase. The third phrase of the B part begins on open D with some pickup notes, D and F sharp leading into a G, and I'm going to play them all as a down bow. I'll play the whole phrase.
So, let's try and learn that. First we go D, F sharp, G. Ready, go. Good. So now we're going to go to the A string. And then come back to the note G. So I have D, F sharp, G. And then A, B, G. Ready, go. Ready, go. I added a couple more notes, A, and then G, and then our G plus B double stop. So, try this. Ready, go. Ready, go. And then we do a combination of double stops that we've done before. We're already at G and B, and we're going to slur into G and C. With a pulse. So, here is the third phrase. Ready, go. Ready, go. Pause the video and try that on your own. When you're ready to restart, we're going to put phrases 1, 2, and 3 together. All right, we're going to try phrases 1, 2, and 3 of the Roscoe B part. I'll count you in. 1, 2, go. Try that two more times. One, two, go. One more time. One, two, go. three of those in a row comfortably and repeatedly, you're ready for the fourth phrase. Now it's time for the fourth phrase of Roscoe's B part, and you'll be happy to learn that it is the same as the fourth phrase of Roscoe's A part. Just a quick reminder, it sounds like this. Try it with me, see if your fingers remember it. Ready, go. Quick review, we walk down D, C, B, A, G. And then from the G, we slur G, B, A. So we have walk down. And then an up bow that's G, F sharp, G. And then we keep the G down, and we have G plus A slurring into G plus B. So, ready, go.
Again, ready, go. One more time, ready, go. Pause the video, try that a couple more times, and then we'll play the whole B part together. Let's play two B parts. I'll count you in. One, two, go. Great job. Let's do that one more time. Two B parts. One, two, go. So work on that B part until you feel really good about it and can play it on your own, and then proceed to the rest of the video where we'll play the whole tune together. The final thing I want to share before we play the tune is how to play the introduction so that if other people are playing with you, they know how fast you're going to go. What I would do on this tune is play a double stop that we've used in it where we play G and B, and you play 10 bow strokes starting on a down bow, and it's going to be long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, like this. And then everyone knows to come in after that. If you want to slide your first finger into the initial note of the double stop, that's what I like to do. It adds some character. So, you'll hear me play that intro. You can play along if you want to work on it, or you can wait and come in with the tune. We'll play the tune three times through.
Thank you so much for trying this lesson. If you have any questions about it, leave a comment on the YouTube page. And if you want to talk about lessons, send me a note through my website. Thanks a lot.